Oh, my name is Ed, or commonly known as Ed at MaxProp. I'm the CEO of MaxProp Digital and excited to talk to you today about the shift towards a digital mindset and technology and how to make money out of knowing a buyer or seller. So you would have heard the phrase, data is the new oil. And, and I'd like to just go through that and, and, and unpack it a little bit. So, so what is data? You know, so it's a, it's, a, it's a phrase we hear a lot, but essentially it's information. Uh, it's information that broken down in a, in a digital world is down to zeros and ones, and uh, it, it flows through everything we do, everything we say, uh, everything that, that people uh, do is, is essentially a form of information. So if you're walking down the street and there's a CCTV camera that's filming you, and what you're doing, that's information. And, and how you behave is information that can be used uh, by whoever it's relevant to. So if you walk into a shop and one minute again walk out of it, that's information for that shop. Clearly, you didn't stay very long. So, so data is, uh, is like the new oil. Uh, and the reason for that is you can make money out of data. But just like oil, it needs to be refined. So you can't just take oil out of the ground and sell it. Uh, it's not going to work. No one's going to buy it. But once it's refined into petrol uh, and put into a vehicle, it certainly can be, be sold and it can be used uh, very efficiently and can make, make a lot of money. So uh, how do we refine it and, and how, do, how is it used? I think that's where the massive companies, uh, technological companies around the, the world are, are busy uh, working out ways on, on how, do you, how do you refine this data. And if you think of companies like Facebook and Google, those are the, those are the companies that are really doing, doing it properly. Um, however, there's a lot of opportunities and that's, you know, that's what I'd like to talk to you about today is you sitting with some data which you can make money out of. And I'll show you how to do that before the end of this presentation. So data in the property industry context, uh, what is that data, what is that information, and what can we do with it, how do we use it, and how can you make money out of it? So knowing or being a buyer or seller is commonly known as the lead. And at Maxwell Digital, we've launched a program called the Connector Program, where you'll be able to make money out of knowing a buyer or seller. And before the end of this presentation, I'll show you how to do that. So listing information, uh, that's what you'll see on private property. Uh, that's the details of a property. And when you start searching, 80 to 90% of people will go into uh, their browser, probably Google, and type in property or home to buy in um, whatever area you're looking in. And the first uh, 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 portal to pop up will be private property and you will then start searching uh, through the listings there and then contact the practitioner from there. So, so that's the listing information. Uh, the next uh, step in the process is you would enter into a sale agreement and, and purchase the property. Uh, that information then goes to a conveyancer and the conveyancing process starts. And eventually when it transfers into your name, that information then sits at the deeds office. And there are companies that take that information from the deeds office and they refine it just like the oil gets refined and then they sell it as reports back to banks, back to real estate. And then there's property management information. So sectional title schemes, homeowners associations, um, body corporates, there's a whole lot of information that is getting used there in terms of managing uh, property and then there's the, the classic facilities management and property management um, that generates a huge amount of information. And then a not so well known area of property called precinct management um, is a massive opportunity for data in the future. So precinct management is um, the management of a specific geographical area. It's generally involved in, in managing the security, cleaning and greening, place making and, and making that, that precinct uh, more livable. And then as a result, the, the value of the property increases as you attract uh, better tenants um, and better landlords. 
So there's a huge amount of information that, that is getting generated out of the precincts. Um, and I think there's going to be big opportunities uh, for big data in this space in the future. Part of the, the precincts is, as I started off with, uh, with CCTV, um, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of uh, information that will be used there in the future on consumer behavior. Um, and maybe, you know, in terms of a precinct, certainly monitoring crime uh, and, and monitoring how people are behaving within a precinct. And that will be very informative uh, to companies going forward. And then APIs as an, as an enabler. So what is an API? An API is generally, uh, it's a connection between two digital systems. If you think of it like a, a, a host pipe between a tap and, uh, and a, another tap and the, the water flows through, that's, that's the data essentially flows through these connections. And systems that have APIs are able to link up and that's what we're seeing in the digital world is, is a whole lot of systems that are busy linking up to create a bigger system and, and flow the information and refine the data to a point that it can be, get used and be valuable to the end user. So at Metropolitan Digital, we've built um, what we call the digital office, um, which has APIs, and we are, in a, we are able to, to connect to, to any system going forward now and in the future, and we're very excited around the potential that this presents um, our business. So where's the end game? You know, we, we hear about artificial intelligence, um, robots, uh, robotics, uh, we have bots, we talk about machine learning, and, and let me take you through some of that. So, so where's the end game with all of this, specifically with machine learning? Um, and with the data that's around, specifically on social media, there, there is a, a sense that that you could collect that data and start predicting how people would behave. So, for instance, you could collect information off Facebook and be able to predict whether a person is getting ready to buy or to sell. And these systems are, are getting developed. Uh, and so you, you're starting to qualify the lead before the lead even knows that they're ready. So, um, and then, you know, the next step, to that sort of thinking as bots and machine learning, you know, you would get contacted by what you wouldn't know whether it was a person or a machine. I mean, right now, when you talk to someone on the phone, do you know whether you're talking to a machine or a robot? Um, and quite honestly, uh, it's the lines are getting blurred. You know, the, they, they're making the, the robots so human-like in their responses and even to the point where they're empathizing um, with customers that very soon you're not going to be knowing if you're talking to a human on the other side of the line or whether it's uh, a machine. And as those machine with machine learning, what machine learning is, is um, it's essentially computers using algorithms that, uh, that learn from each other. Uh, and an example would be um, how someone responded to a question, and not just how someone, but maybe how a thousand people responded to a question, and the best answer for that. And all the, the computers could share that knowledge with, with each other. So um, quite, a, quite an interesting topic, um, and I could go on a long time about that. Um, and why practitioners will be involved in the property trans transaction for a long time. So yes, there's all this technology, there's the, this, what I've been speaking about, machine learning and robotics, but at the end of the day, property is an emotional bar. It's something that is not done very frequently, uh, maybe just a couple of times in a lifetime. And as a result, uh, people want to deal with people in the transaction. And so that's why I believe property practitioners are going to be involved in the transaction for a very, very long time. At some point in the distant future, maybe, maybe not, but certainly in my lifetime, I think uh, property practitioners are going to play a crucial role. And, and the reason for that is that uh, people want to deal with people when they need to trust the process. And, and that's what we've done as well with Maxprop Digital is we've built tools to enable the, the practitioners to deliver a very good, high quality service to clients. Um, and be able to enable them to do their job, which is which is help 
people through a very what can be a very scary process of buying or selling their property. So how do you make money out of your data? Well, we're very excited to launch the Connector program at this virtual property show. Um, and what is the Connector program? Well, it's simply, do you know a buyer or a seller of property in your network? Are they a friend or, or even family? And what you can do is you can go onto our, our website at uh, maxprop.digital backslash connector, and you can uh, register yourself for free and register your buyer or your seller. We will then verify that they are a buyer or seller and that you have, uh, have referred them. We then uh, work with the buyer and seller. And if we're able to conclude a transaction, we will then pay you a fee. So you simply have to, have to log on, pull out the, the necessary information. We verify it, we do the rest of the work. And then once we've concluded a transaction, uh, your phone goes ping and money goes into your bank account. So if that's something that interests you, please go onto our, our webpage and, and find out more. Uh, and that's essentially a way of you monetizing your data. So that's information that you hold, you know a buyer or a seller. That's data and it's worth money. It's information that, that certainly we want to, to assist you with um, and, and assist the buyers and sellers with. Thank you very much. It's been a great pleasure to talk to you this morning. I hope you found the talk uh, interesting and I look forward to engaging with you uh, during question time. Thank you.